Hello, today we're going to cover an introduction to tables in Word. I'm going to have a subsequent video on formulas, which is going to be a little bit more complicated, but here I've got what is a tab list. And so, when you press the show hide button, you can kind of see what's going on here. There are these fields, and they are separated by tabs. So I'm going to select the data, and if I want to convert tab list into data or into a table. I'm going to head over to the insert tab. Table group, I mean that's pretty straightforward, but here it's uh, convert text to table. Pretty common thing that you might be asked to do. Click OK and, and there we go. And you can see that was a really smooth, easy conversion. At this point you've got a real table. Notice the entire table is selected. You're free to click and drag and select text any other way that you would want to do it, but I want to point out that little thing up there in the corner, that's select all. I don't know what that thing looks like it does, but that does in, uh, in fact select your entire table. I would also like to point out that now that we've got a table, we've got two contextual tabs. Tables, as you could probably imagine, have a lot of things going on with them. These are quick styles. There are a lot of them. I don't have a whole lot of data in my table, but so it's not really going to increase the uh, readability a ton, but those are quick styles. There's a lot of them. Um, so I'm sure look at these check boxes over here. These are the same sets of styles that you had available to you in Excel tables. If you've worked with tables in Excel, um, these same options are there, and quick styles haven't changed a lot. Um, all right, you've got your border tools. I don't usually spend much time on the design tab. All the interesting stuff is on the layout tab. So I'm going to do a little more with this in my next video, but for now, I've got these things. I don't know what they are. They're so gadgets, and they have prices, and I'm selling units. Uh, let's say over here to the far right, I might want to have another column, and that's going to be like my, uh, right? I mean, it's going to be the product of the price and the units sold. So I would just click anywhere in this last column, and you've got all these really nice buttons over here. Just insert to the right pretty clearly seems like a good choice. And, right, and so this is going to be the, uh, this is, I don't know, we'll go dollar signs, right? I don't know. I don't know what to call this column, but that sounds good. And if you wanted an extra row at the bottom of your table, certainly just the insert below works well, but I'd like to show you a little trip. So when you're navigating around a table in Word, a tab takes you around like this. When you get to the last cell in the table, if you just press tab, it adds a row. Now is that really a whole lot faster than just adding it manually? Eh, probably not. I'd also like to point out these are your, your merge and split. These are the same kind of things you would do in an Excel worksheet. And one of my favorite buttons with tables is the auto fit button. It's got several options. A very common one to use is auto fit contents. This just It's kind of like auto fitting the uh, column widths in Excel doesn't make it any wider than it needs to be. I'm going to undo that just to make it huge. But uh, basically, the takeaway is if you've worked with Excel before, and you've worked with tables in Excel, these are pretty much the same in terms of formatting. Now when it comes to formulas, things get a little bit ugly, and that'll be the subject of my next video.